lot of ENDs in cerebellum. We have subject wise ENDs, then we have some BTR ENDs, and I think you you appear for most of them. So why did you give so much focus to the test and discussions? Sir, I feel that the test and discussions are framed by the teachers. Mm. Mm. So they are more curated around mm. the PYTs and important topics, mm. and there is a personal touch to mm. each and every option. Mm. which uh, makes it more closer to the real exam because mm. otherwise if i uh, used to read the notes only mm. but that option used to come in a twisted manner mm. then i mostly used to get it wrong but mm. via tests and discussions and solving mcqs and grand tests on a regular basis i used to uh, understand it better how mm. each and every option and question can be asked and can be mm. reframed so mm. it used to give me a better grasp mm. at the uh, options which are twisted and the topics also would you uh, attend the live discussions that were taken by the faculties or would you watch it later as a recorded video uh, so mostly as a recorded video later but during internship uh, whenever i had an off or something so sometimes i used to see live video mm. of some of the btr discussions i mm. see saw live mm. and uh, some of the sessions uh, also i used to take join in between and see for uh, whenever i was having a little bit break so mm. i used to see the live discussions Mm. and then uh, just the part i used to see later according so, to the sheet whether uh, uh, there has been a lot of chatter about you know whether pyqs pyts are still as important or not and uh, i know for sure that you use those uh, late night pyq marathons in cerebellum very heavily as a topper as somebody who has you know is both the exams what is your take on this uh, whole idea of whether pyts and pyqs are still as important or they are losing some sheen sir uh, i think uh, they are definitely important because uh, time is limited and mm. first uh, we have to focus on pyqs and pyts and mm. the volatile stuff apart mm. from that and mm. if time is left in each like if you are planning to complete a subject in like let's say 5 6 days so mm. first you can uh, rely more on pyts in 4 mm. days and then if time is left then mm. you can add up and bulk it up but right. first of all according to the time available you have to focus on the pyts and important mm. topics mm. because if you start reading from the beginning everything mm. and not focus on pyts first then some topics will be left and yeah. ultimately that would be more harmful than do any good to you right that, that's that's a very important point students sometimes forget that you know the duration available is the limiting factor i mean yeah. if if somebody makes a strategy that i will use harrisons to clear the entrance examination that would be a very bad strategy you would never be able to finish harrisons you would also always appear for the grand test uh, i saw so so yeah. what, what, what are your thoughts about grand test some students are very scared that you know what if i get a bad score it will dent my uh, confidence so what is your message to those students sir i would like to say that uh, grand tests are uh, the best way to uh, measure your level of understanding and how much you remember of each subject because if you are seeing a few subjects in the last couple of weeks mm. then you will get the questions from that wrong but mm. in real exam you will not be able to revise whole of the syllabus very close to exam so you will have to revise all of the subjects side mm. by side which mm. can only be possible by mm. giving grand tests on a regular basis mm. so and also to time management is a major mm. crucial factor and mm. now since it is more important now because it is in block pattern Mm. Uh, neat also is in block pattern and inct is also in block pattern mm. so in, in that some slot may be more lengthier and then some shorter so you have to manage time accordingly and see how you can manage your time in a best possible way so mm. that can only come when you practice grand tests on a regular basis mm. and review reviewing of grand tests is also very important mm. like it is as important as giving a grand test because when you will review you will know which topics you are getting wrong mm. and mm. which ones are important So mm. if you will study those topics in detail mm. then it is very less likely that you will get them wrong in the real exam right. because questions are similar topics are almost similar just the options are twisted a more a bit more in INCT so grand tests are really very much helpful and uh, I used to give grand tests regularly like right. in the last 2 3 months I gave them every 5 4 5 days and, and I believe you use GTs of multiple platforms to keep evaluating a performance yes sir Uh, so, if uh, say you appeared for an END or you appeared for a GT and you realize that you were not so good in a particular, you know, sub area of a particular subject, say you were making conceptual mistakes. Let's say you were you were bad at acid base uh, questions. So, w- how how would you go about it? Uh, what what would be your strategy to you know strengthen that particular area? Uh, sir, uh, mostly uh, like I would go through the solution of that particular question in detail, okay. Okay. and also if like according to the time available and which stage of preparation I was in, like in beginning of the mm-hmm. preparation, I used to see the 
uh, notes main notes from that or okay. solve more questions related to it from the question bank okay but in the closer to exam uh, like most of the topics got covered gradually by this approach so i did not used to uh, review whole of the topic again and again but right. uh, i used to uh, review that particular question and what concept basically what uh, is the lacunae i am uh, having i used to see that in detail you know at cerebellum we have been trying to you know put schedules whether it is uh, the live class schedule of mission classes whether it is a schedule of ends whether it is a schedule of btr cerebellum tends to you know push a student uh, to follow a schedule and structure so how do you see that i mean how much did it help you in your preparation and uh, what would be your advice to a student who who is a good student who knows a lot but is not able to you know finish things at time not able to go to the next step so i have both questions how did that structure help you and uh, what is your advice to somebody who is at this moment struggling with the same thing sir i uh, totally agree with you this in the post graduation exam preparation schedule is this real factor behind success mm. because our goal is not to complete everything what mm. you have planned the mm. goal is to study every day in a planned manner and not to study everything that you have planned mm. so even if you are doing a little bit every day you are studying on a daily basis in a planned manner mm. whatever you are studying that is that is in a planned manner mm. so you will co- complete majority of the things which you have kept and mm. if you continue that for a period of 3 4 months like the schedule mm. the majority of the important things will get covered mm. and then you can revisit again and again mm-hmm. so in that way the most important topics will get covered which mm. are most likely to be asked Mm-hmm. otherwise if there is no schedule and you are studying same subjects for a month or mm-hmm. 15 20 days then mm-hmm. you will not remember even that and subsequent subjects you will also miss important topics right. so it is very important to follow a schedule either mm-hmm. you can make your own schedule mm-hmm. that is okay i initially few months i also made my own schedule but mm-hmm. after the uh, may i nct like may i nct rank did not go as per my expectations like mm-hmm. i was getting good rank in tests and all but did not do well in may i nct mm-hmm. so i was not very energetic to uh to replan myself at mm-hmm. that moment so i totally relied on the schedules which were provided by cerebellum at that moment from inict to june mm-hmm. need and june need to mm-hmm. actual need then actual need to mm-hmm. in november mm-hmm. all the schedules which were provided by the cerebellum i followed those diligently and uh, did my subjects accordingly mm-hmm. after that so if if you are uh, disciplined yourself and you are energetic at that moment to restart mm-hmm. and uh mm-hmm. do then you can make your own schedule or any other way but if you are lacking discipline and you are not energetic and your mindset is not right at the moment then you have to follow a structured schedule mm-hmm. uh which can be of any uh platform but yeah. uh, i have believe to follow that, something yeah yes do follow something i was mainly focusing on what all mistakes i did okay whether it preparation there was a lack in my preparation that mm-hmm. i did not know the things mm-hmm. or it was it the exam day mm-hmm. which i messed it up and right. I analyzed the test for the entire week till the mm-hmm. results came. I saw all the recall videos and analyzed why I did this question wrong, why I did that question wrong, and what was my thinking. Mm-hmm. So I analyzed it very deeply. Mm-hmm. What was the main factor why I was doing it wrong, mm-hmm. uh, and at what stage of preparation was it? At the stage of preparation, or was it the exam day? So I okay. realized that it was the exam day which I okay. had messed up because most of the things I knew, some things were there which I didn't knew. But so I uh, planned accordingly and. basically the change has to be in the mindset that is the most important factor and it's uh, and you have to believe that one day does not define it at all and there will be so, some so, exam so days which will be yours and right. some not. so 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 if if i may uh, reframe what you said uh, if i have a bad result whether it's in the real exam or in a grand test rather than stamping myself that i do not know or uh, i am a bad student i should rather look closely and ask myself what went wrong did i yeah. get nervous in the exam did i not read the options did i lack factual knowledge did i lack concepts do i need more mcq practice so so when we when we kind of you know open it up then then we get better answer and and that's a very very mature thing to say i, I think uh, uh, everybody who is watching this interview should should uh, uh, take the disappointments and setbacks and analyze them using th- th- this technique that dr webb just told so sir uh, i would say whoever is starting with the internship or just beginning with the preparation so take it one day at a time just plan out your schedule uh, any time you spend in planning and making the schedule is not a time waste whether it is in hours also because once you make it it will stay with you for the next couple of months so it will improve your efficiency a lot you have to make your plan either your own or follow some plan 
and then work it in a planned manner on a day to day basis take it one day at a time be consistent try to study every day and just keep giving tests side by side and uh, keep doing one subject at a time those who are in middle of preparation i would say that for keeping up with the momentum you have to plan out your testing cycle very thoroughly you have to give more amount of tests examination discussions and grand tests because in middle of preparation if you will not improve your mcq solving skills then the theory whichever you have read till now and whichever you will read that will not be put to use if you are not improving your mcq solving skills in the middle of the preparation right and uh, then closer to exam you can adjust frequency accordingly but in the middle of preparation you have to give tests on a regular basis grand tests and tests and discussions for also for interns sometimes due to duties they may not be able to cope up with the schedule so but but i would just say that uh, rather than not studying anything at all in the in, in year of internship if you will maintain the momentum of just keep studying on a regular mm-hmm. basis not that you have to crack on the first time don't keep that in mind but just keep studying every day or whenever you find time that will keep the momentum going rather than totally detaching yourself from studies and thinking that i will only be starting after the internship mm-hmm. that breaks the cycle and that makes it more difficult more comparatively difficult. for some students right. it will make it more difficult so just keep up with the momentum and keep doing mm-hmm. don't focus anything like i have to crack in this attempt only and for those uh, who uh, did not get the desired result mm-hmm. and uh, so you have to introspect what went wrong because uh some for many people examination day is the main factor because i don't think knowledge wise there is a very major difference between the top mm-hmm. few thousands or or students there is mainly the exam day and mcq solving skills and mindset and calmness during exam that is the main differentiating factor mm-hmm. so you have to analyze ki whether it is exam day which went wrong or the preparation had lack in it if the preparation had lack in it then you have to restart and mm-hmm. you identify where the lack in it were where it, mm-hmm. and you start accordingly basically you have to introspect right very nice you said if you did not did not get a good result rather than you know looking at your rank think about what went wrong and for the first category of students starting is what is important and and you made a very valid point for those who are doing internship that if you say that i want to enjoy in the internship that, that's okay i mean if that is what you want to do but if you want to finally crack the exam don't don't uh, uh, allow the momentum to get broken because you know medical studies is something if you pick it after 6 months it's not easy uh, you feel as if you have forgotten everything so so yeah. have some amount of you know connection going on many congratulations again and uh, may god bless you thank you so much